So I'm doing this video from Dubai in about half an hour. I'm going to head across to Abu Dhabi and I'm pretty excited for UFC 267 on Fight Island. So I'll do a quick pick of the first four fights. It's quite simple. You have to pick Russia. You've got Magomed Ankalaev versus Uzdemir, Hamza Chimaev versus Li Jingliang, Volkov versus Tabura, and Islam Makhachev versus Dan Hooker. I'm not making any wild claims here. You know, they're all quite heavy favourites. If I have to pick an upset, I think Uzdemir might be able to get it done against Ankalaev. Uzdemir has only lost against the best in division. For Ankalaev, it's a pretty big step up in competition. He has beaten everyone in the UFC so far, but maybe Uzdemir is the man to beat him. I think for Uzdemir, if he can keep it on the feet, which is never easy against the Kastani wrestlers, he could end up knocking out Ankalaev. He does have the much better striking. So if I get onto the co-main event, we've got Piotr Jan versus Corey Sanhagen. Important to note that actually they're both fighting in Abu Dhabi for the second time. They both fought there in separate events in 2020. Quite a weird setup in that pretty much everyone knows that the winner of this fight will be considered the champion, even if that's technically Aljamain Sterling, who won by VQ against Jan. San Hagen has looked very good in the UFC. He got a flying knee KO over Frank Edgar. He dismantled Marlon Moraes, but also he's lost to Sterling in the first round. He's coming off a loss, pretty competitive split decision loss you know, to TJ Dillashaw, but I think he'll find Yan too much at this point in time. Yan, he's coming off pretty much a near perfect record in the UFC since that DQ loss to Sterling. He's looked better every fight. He absolutely dismantled his last three opponents, Uriah Faber, Jose Aldo, and then Sterling. I think his takedown defense is going to be too good. I think Corey won't be able to take him down, and then he'll take him out on the feet. So, onto the main event. There's the legendary Polish power, Jan Blachowicz, against Glover Dingira. I think this is probably the hardest one to pick since they're quite evenly matched. You know, they're both known for their stand up got heavy hands, but they're actually both jiu-jitsu you know, champions in their own countries. I will say, if it goes to the ground, I have absolutely no idea what could happen. You know, we've seen Glover finish a few fights through submissions, but I haven't really seen Jan grapple much recently. He had his fights at Adesanya, where he used his wrestling a lot, but you know, he's an undersized guy, he's a middleweight who's not really a grappler. Personally, I think the fight stays on the feet, I think it's going to be one of those five round wards. And ultimately, I think Yan will take the split decision. You know, he's going in as a champion. And in those very, very close fights, you usually see the judges will go towards the guy who's coming in as champion. So I think he's the one who holds the belt. He's the one who gets it done.